Mm. Give me a me coffee. Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to Coffee Conversation. Oh my goodness, it's good to be back. It's good to be back home. Um, I have been out of town for, well, I was out of town for two weeks. I was back home in South Carolina. I had a family member who was ill and I went to go visit and went to Texas and did all kinds of things and had two really nice weeks with my family. It was, it was fantastic, but um, anyway, then last week when I got home, it was just kind of decompress from the trip time. I just, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm back. Uh, is it really snowing outside? It's seriously snowing outside. <sighs> Canada, get your shit together. I can't handle this anymore. It is April. I don't even know what to say. And this week's coffee conversation is going to be about moving. I am moving, which I've talked about before, but we're moving at the end of this month and moving can be a little like stressful, like to the point where you want to just kind of throw away everything instead of packing it in boxes and, and get new things. <laughs> It's not fun. It's really not fun. And so it's a time of like cleansing and you know, go through your old stuff. See if you want to keep any of it. Extra boxes, extra boxes, cause we're moving, cause we're moving. Um, my whole thought was if I get... <sighs> what was my thought? Oh yeah, I wanted to use Pinterest as a fantastic resource um, to kind of see what other people do to move and if they have tips and tricks. And so um, I have decided on a plan that I really, really like and I think is going to serve us well. And I'm also going to vlog our actual move um, so I can post it and show you guys the ups and downs and crazies and, and you know, maybe that's entertaining. I think it can be entertaining. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, my the first thing I saw that was really interesting was that you can take your rooms and label them with a number and then label each box that goes with that room like 101, 102, 103. And then you know all the 100 boxes go in the living room. I thought that was brilliant. Um, also packing your books in a rolling suitcase. I'm going to try that this time because I feel like I tend to be like, oh, books are small. I'm just going to shove all of them in a box. No, because then they're too heavy, and then you can't pick them up, and then you're miserable. So I thought that would, was a fantastic idea. So we're going to put our books into rolling suitcases, and then we can just roll them in. That'll be great. Um, another thing I saw was to pack plates like records. I thought that was interesting. I don't know if it really prevents them from breaking or anything like that, but it seemed like a smart way to do that. And also to put um, styrofoam plates in between your plates, and that keeps them from all kind of smashing together. So yeah, if you have any moving tips for me, I would greatly appreciate it. Um, we, I just wanna be as organized as I possibly can be so that when we get there, we can just, unpack very quickly and just settle in and uh, get down to life in the new place. It's such a beautiful apartment and like all of the stuff is being redone before we move in, like the carpet and the walls and the kitchen and um, fixtures in the bathrooms. I am just so excited. And so as I decorate things, and I might actually do a couple of videos of like DIY decoration projects um, on the cheap, of course. All right, you guys. I hope you have a fantastic day. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. I know there's something down there for that. And if you super duper like it, then subscribe. I would appreciate it. That would be fantastic. I'll talk to you guys. Whoa. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.